Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Siren Frost, and today I have you in an updated deck profile video of my Magnolia Elder from the DZ BT1 collection, Faded Clash. Um, so, when I was doing this deck profile, or this rebuilding this deck from the ground up, it was a little difficult on some units, but this is actually now formed into... Um, revolving around the Grade 4 Magnolia, so that's a nice little support that we got from um, Faded Clash. And of course, the owner is still Megumi Okura. Now, a little backstory on, you know, Megumi now, the updated one that she's from, from Will Dress, from Overdress to Will Dress. Doesn't matter. This is the Vines that we're in right now. So currently, she's still the leader of Team Blackout, obviously, because she still carries the sleeves. But I guess at work, she doesn't um, promote Team Blackout. So she just has normal um, normal color sleeves, like Vanguard sleeves. Her main one is the green color, of course. So I guess when she's at um, Wonder Hill, she does to use the Blackout sleeves. But when she's at work, she uses like regular sleeves. So, okay. Cool beans. <laughs> She's also um, not quite a mentor to Akina. She actually is just a supporting cast member. When when Akina and uh, now um, when Akina and now were trying to help Akina get a deck started for his first time, you know, playing the game, and she was also there as a as an assistant help as a help to get Makoto. Um, to help her duel, or not duel, sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh! Probably mode a little bit, for her first card fight against the Fae Clash. Of course, Magumi did not know about this, so that's good to know. Um, so she helped Makoto get her Lyrical Monastery deck done, and it did feature the list. I'm surprised for the first time, I think that's the first time Makoto... Did I just say first time for twice? Ah, oh, shit, I'm sorry. It's probably early in the morning on this Thursday morning, so I'm sorry. <clears throat> but anyways, so Megumi and Makoto fought. Of course, Megumi lost. She almost had to, she almost put Makoto in the ringer, but not quite. Um, it doesn't show that she's using the Mask of Hydrogram series anymore, and she's using a new combination of her old deck and a new deck together, featuring some of the new cards. So. Not quite much. Maybe she'll show more in appearance in season two of Divines, which during the Destiny, uh, Destiny fights, Destiny showdown. But there is a a couple new cards for her ride line. Especially for the fifth card, we need to have the energy generator. Don't ask me why I'm speaking French because my English is certainly really bad. <coughs> so let's start with the ride deck. First of all, we have Silver Horn Beast Lote. For our starter, so that's a, still a classic uh, grade 1 starter, of course, and, you know, you can't really go wrong with that. I kind of wish that they did get an evolution, the full starters can all get out an evolution line about, you know, maybe Seraph, maybe, um, well, Bruce got a new card, but the rest of his wide line just still stay the same. Same with Bastion, Magnolia stay the same with two cards, so maybe... Maybe all of them will get a future upgrade than like um what you 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 had because his whole deck's pretty much upgraded, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Anyways, so here comes the new grade one we have. The updated version is blessing blossoming flowers, silver and horn bees, Karis. When this unit is worded upon by a grade 2 card with Silver Horn Beast and its card name, look at the top 3 cards in your deck. Choose up to 1 grade 2 or less normal unit from from among them. Call the rear guard and you may discard this and you may discard the rest. Okay? If you did not discard any cards, put the cards not chosen on the bottom of the deck in any order. So, I believe that you don't really need those, those cards too much, but I think a lot of people still... We'll like to have some for the drop. Maybe that's the case as well. So this is going to be a whole different style of the deck itself. So, a little bit. 
The next one we have to grade to is Mercy Silver and Hornbees Lattice. When this unit is wrote upon by a grade 3 card with Magnolia in its card name, Soul Blast 1, choose a grade 3 or greater card from your drop or a normal order from your drop and put it into hand. During your turn, if you have a grade 3 card, grade 3 or greater Vanguard with Magnolia in its card name, this unit gets 5,000 power. <coughs> So, I don't think that's quite a bad card. I think, of course, maybe I didn't think of this quite, quite through, that there is a Magnolia order card for her. So, maybe she was using that. But, it's okay. You know, like, maybe we'll fix that, you know, eventually over time. But, for right now, this is the deck I'm promoting right now. Or, not promoting, um, showing right now. <laughs> and, of course, we have... Silver Horn Beast Key Magnolia for our last grade 3 card. See, this is a little bit weird. Because the grade 1 and 2 had an upgrade, while the grade 0 and 3 did not. So, it's a sad sad thing, but it's whatever. And of course, let's not forget the Energy Generator that is now completely an essential card for your ticket to go into tournaments nowadays. Because according to the rules, you have to have this card at all times. No ifs, ands, or buts. So... To me, that's kind of shitty, but, you know, it is what it is. It's kind of fun, but still, kind of stupid. And, of course, we're using the Team Blackout Sleeves for this one, because why not? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> okay. Yeah, here I am on a, thurs on a Thursday making a video while I was being sick. How weird is that? <laughs> So, anyways, um, for grade zero for the main deck, grade zeros we have the same usual trigger lineup: um, eight crits, three fronts, one over trigger, and four heals. You know all that good stuff. Sorry, I got a little distracted. So, um, anyways, so for the, <clears throat> so of course we're still using the Silver Horn Beast, uh, Zia Varuk for our heals. We have eight criticals, so we have four Silver Horn Beast Jackalope, which I thought is a very cute card to have, and yet they're very shiny still. Four copies of Esperian Maiden Elena, which is in case for that soul. Ability now because most of these cards I think still uses the soul ability. <coughs> and then we got three frenzy heiresses for our fronts because we still want to keep the 20k shield um, the main thing. I know a lot of people want to want to have the draw trigger, which is you know it's a good thing to have, but for me I want to have the extra. 20k value shield, just in case for high, for heavy hitters kind of thing. So, I'm not disrespecting draw triggers. I know a lot of people don't like fronts, but I like fronts personally, just because it's... Most of the time, I can get my field on with three attacks with stronger boosts. That's just me. Not to sound bragging or anything. Last but not least, we have Sa Source Dragon Deity of Blessings Blast for our over trigger. This is my personal thing right here, so it is what it is. And of course, we are using the Team Blackout, the black, black Sleeves. I'm in the process of actually trying to um, get... <coughs> I'm actually in the process of trying to um, get all the team sleeves for all the, the the decks itself, but they're a little expensive, and I have to be a little careful with it. It's all right. So for grade ones, you'd be quite surprised by this, but we're not using them any grade ones in this deck. I'm only using four because only one of them is a support for Magnolia, and you guys can take it how it is. Maybe it's like it's a little bit much, but this is how I like to, you know, do. Just do things. 
you know. It's my own personal take. So, I'm playing four copies of Silver Horn Beast Soil Royal from the Set 7 Collection, and we already know what this one does. And of course, for our complete guard, we have Planar Plen Prevent Dragon, so we're still using the classic um, perfect guard that Spe um, Megumi had in the first season. So, <clears throat> I thought it'd be very quite fitting. So there's that. <coughs> okay, guys. So this deck right here, this big chunk right here, is going to be all grade, um, all grade twos, <laughs> pretty much. So we are starting off with a new collection. So we're starting off with four copies of Silverhorn Beast um, Benaspati. When this unit is placed on rear guard, other than during the battle phase, Catablast 1 and Soul Blast 1, choose one of your vanguards with Silverhorn Beast in its card name. For every for every two grades that of that unit, choose a grade three or less card with a different card name from this card from your drop and call to rear guard. When this unit attacks, choose one of your with your vanguards with silver horn beast in its card name, and for every two grades of that unit, this unit gets five thousand power into the battle. So basically, you're gonna get maybe like ten, like five thousand. If it was on Magnolia Elder, it's gonna be ten thousand. So it's not a bad card, and it's not doesn't quite requires much too much. And I and I I like it. But I'm not thinking. <clears throat> Moving on. <laughs> Don't know why I'm so tongue tied today. Um, so we're playing also four copies of Seven Horn Beast Alkawin. Um, when this unit is placed on rear guard, if you have a grade three or greater vanguard with Magnolia in its card name, so blast one and discard a card from your hand. Search your deck for or drop for up to one card with Magnolia in with with Magnolia in its different card name from your vanguard or up to one grade zero normal order. Reveal it and put it into your hand. And if you search the deck, shuffle the deck. Okay, well that's standard. You're supposed to do that anyways. Um, maybe I should have actually put the normal order in this one, but I didn't think of it. So, it is what it is, you guys. There's always <clears throat> room for next time. Now we have the supporting cast members. So we have four copies of Silver Horn Bees, Gold, Gold Dolph. And this is from the set set nine collection. Alright. Yep, set nine. Sorry, I'm a little bit blind. So set nine, and this is a Magnolia supporter card. <coughs> the next one we have four copies of Silver Horn Beast Alpin. And this is a set seven collection. And also Magnolia support as well. Next we have two copies of Silver Horn Beast Genosla from set one, the very classic. And of course, we have the supporting cast of the uh, Magnolia series. This is the Friendship Fairy, one copy. People tell me to run only one copy of this card because of, of her skill. If you have a Vanguard with Magnolia in its card name, and your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, Catablast 1 and put this unit into Soul. Choose up to one grade 4 unit with card with Magnolia in its card name from your hand and write it as a Vanguard, as Stand. So, maybe it's a standard thing to have. Here, maybe I can just put it like this right here. And it's right here. So, I don't know if this is a standard kind of deck possible for Magnolia, but I think if it were up to me, I would rather play two copies of her if I get my hands on her. But I heard the promos are getting really expensive, so thank you, Bushy, for making our lives a little bit more difficult here. So, yeah. Maybe I should just pack up a little bit, but either way. Anyways, that's my grade 2 lineup. <coughs> now, the grade 3, like I said, we're not running too many grade 3s in this deck either. Um, just 3 more copies of Magnolia, just for personification ability. That's pretty much all it. Because the rest of the time, we're playing 4 copies of Silver and Horn Beast Emperor Magnolia Elder. 4 copies of him. 
because apparently she uses this unit a lot more than anything else. So, so I do have a little bit of a, a th food for thought here, pretty much. I saw it in her, um, in her fight against Makoto in the enemy, and she uses Inlet Pulse Dragon. What are your thoughts on putting Inlet Pulse Dragon back in the deck? Is it good? Good idea? Bad idea? What do you guys think? Well, I guess either way, we're going to probably find out eventually, so. But that is it for the deck profile video of Magnolia Elder and the updated version. It's been a while since I actually did this kind of video all at once, but it's okay. So, that is the complete deck profile video for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm sorry if I sound kind of cracky. You know, my voice... <coughs> <coughs> I've been going, I've been kind of getting sick for a week, so I'm sorry for that. But, yeah, I hope you guys liked the updated video. I know this is probably a little, a little bit too much, maybe it's too less, and it's like, maybe not the right kind of balance, you know. I'll work on it eventually, and see if I can find anything that would be corresponding, would be more comfortable with the others. But, yeah, that is it for the video for this today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoy it very much so. If you guys like the content I do create on my channel, please subscribe, thumbs up for this channel, comment down below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next uh, part, next video. And, as always, I've been your host, Siren Frost, signing out.